darkness falls, curtains rise. What's going on, guys? It's your boy uh, Bull Ratty here, and today we're basically making what you just seen. Uh, it's like a white type of scope outline effect. Uh, it's really good for transitions. Uh, someone that I know that uses this a lot is uh, NMS Fatal, a good friend of mine. Uh, but basically, we're just going to get started right away. So uh, I just have a edit I'm doing right here, so I'll just work on this. So basically, what you want to do is go to uh, a part on a clip. Like, uh, for example, I have this clip, and then it goes to the scope right after. So what you want to do is go up here, go to best, and then full. And then you want to click this save snapshot to file button. We'll just save that. And what you want to do is go over here and drag this, drag this on and split it as so. Okay. So we have that. So what you want to do is go over here, click the event pan crop, and click the mask. And make sure you have your anchor creation tool and just make a mask around it. But if you want some masking uh, help, go to my previous video called Masking Transitions. Right here I have a preset, so I don't need to do it. Oh, and you want to feather this out, so hit both and change it to one, depending on how good your uh, mask is. So then right here, I have a preset already set. But to make this, what you want to do is go to Media Generators, Solid Color Black. Then you want to go in here and drag another one on. And then, so you have these overlay black uh, solids. So what you want to do is go over to Transitions, Iris, Center Out Circle. What you want to do is go over here and change the border to about 0.01 and change the color to white. So then you should get this circle in here. So what you want to do is go over here and you could drag your picture over to it and just uh, find out like the scope. So we'll just change the opacity in here really quick. You just want to find where your mask ends. So we'll just go back a few frames by hitting left on our keyboard up until it's about right. So that's about right. So what you want to do is the same thing as before. You want to first change the opacity up to 100. Then you go to best, full, and take another screen cap. So that'd be image six. Then you want to go ahead and delete these blacks. You can drag this back over to here. And then, so what you want to do is drag your preset on. So you'll have this black. So press S to split it towards the end. And you want to make a trip the track. Uh, you want to go over here and click comp compensating mode, and you want to go up to add. What that does is get rid of the black, and it'll just have your white circle. So what I like to do is I go over to transitions and I put on, uh, let's see here, clock white. This should be good. What it does is it makes it makes your uh, thing come in. But as you see, your scope just comes in like that. If you don't want that, then what you what you can do is you can go ahead and put on a transition on your scope. So I like to drag on fly in. So just drag this on. And so as this is scrolling through, you can see that your scope just comes in like that. And it's really, it's a really nice effect to use for uh, easy transitions. I mean, I this is the first edit I'm using it on, so it looks pretty decent. I mean, just flow through, uh, just flow through the different transitions you can use different transitions on your uh, clock wipe I mean uh, your circle your white circle and your scope but this is what I like to this is what I like to use most but uh, in my next edits I'll probably mix it up a little bit uh, also as I said before I believe I said before uh, I like to use the selectively pre-render uh, option which pre-renders part of the video so I don't have to go out and uh, 
render the full video out or just that part and watch it. I like to use this because I can view it and my computer isn't that fast. So let me just watch this really quick so it can make a good transition. Yep, that's a really nice effect. Uh, but anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, there should be another tutorial out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for uh, watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.